Hey everyone, Mac is back. Today I want to talk about the Valor shops in Alliance Conquest and uh, Kingdom vs. Kingdom. Just uh, what, what, what you can get in there, what you should be getting in there, and uh, what not to get as well. There's some things in there that uh, are not worth getting too. So, um, of course, just you have that, have that with this game all the time. So, it, uh, it just kind of shows you that uh, sometimes you need to uh, avoid certain situations, but uh, let's get to it. And first we'll start with the Alliance Conquest Valor Shop. So at the very top here you can see it's it's going to cost uh, 10,000 um, of these uh, Valor Points to be able to get these uh, Birth of the Dragons Shard Chests and House of the Undying Photo Chests. And I'll go over those here um, uh, at the end, but I'll show you the rest of uh, the other ones here first. The Epic General Tokens are probably one of the most valuable in this shop. And the reason that they are is because the Epic Tokens are uh, expensive and very difficult to obtain. And you can get 10 of them in here if you have enough of these Valor Points. Um, the Elite General Tokens, um, if you're free to play, this is kind of where you, wanna, you would want to get these because you're, you're not going to have the uh, Epic Command, you know, the Commander, those uh, bigger Commanders, the Paid Commanders, to be able to get uh, use these Epic General Tokens here. Um, one of the most other most valuable is Simon, uh, the Simon Medals, because this, there's only certain places you can get them. And this is one in the Valor Shops here. Actually, it's the only place you can get them. So uh, you're, you're going to need to get Simon uh, in here and upgrade him as well. Some already have him, I think, to gold, uh, which is kind of ridiculous. That means they've been just totally concentrating on Simon medals, uh, which is fine. I mean, that's if that's what you want to do. My recommendation, though, is if, you know, if you're not a whale, I mean, obviously for a whale, you're probably, get, you're probably upgrading them anyway. But, like, the reason that you upgrade them is for the tavern. Or not for the tavern, I apologize. Well, maybe for the tavern, I guess, too. But the reason you upgrade him is for the training grounds, because that's where he's most valuable when he just, just heals in there. And you can see his ability is a max defense troop of 500,000, seize attack reduction of 50%, which is great, and then the total attack. So you could put him on your wall if you have him maxed out of gold, too, I guess. Um, but that, but the upgrade, the increase that you're getting from that is probably not as significant for the time it takes and the other things you can get in here. If you don't have Mango upgraded, that'd be a good one there to put in as well. I would not get the, the marks of the true dragon if you don't, you know really don't need those. Um, S medals, uh, universal troop medals, are actually really good in this because they're actually cheaper. They're 300. So if you're like comparing him to you know Simon, you're going to get two of these medals per one medal of Simon. Um, obviously, you're going to need more of the S medals than you will of the Simon to uh, to upgrade uh, to fully upgrade everything in your uh, you know, through your troop appearances. But it's not a bad one either. And then going down even further here, um, if you have anything left over, which you probably won't, you're probably going to avoid these bottom three. But looking, <clears throat> excuse me, looking back up here, you know, the, there are other places to get uh, the Mango medals as well. Uh, I believe he's actually in the recruitment pass, so uh, that would be a place that I would recommend getting him, and not in here, not spending the hundred. Uh, I, I would say the, the the most valuable ones are the Epic Generals tokens and the Simon medals. Uh, if you're uh, if you're a medium spender. If you're a free-to-play, then it's the Elite Tokens and the Simon Medals, most likely, and even the uh, S, S Medals as well, because those, those, probably those three right there are the best ones you want to get. But let's go take a look at these uh, these different, different shard chests and see what uh, kind of value they give. And the first one we'll look at is the House of the Undying, and this is in the second album. Uh, and it's, it's the second to last one down here. And you get uh, Fervor Attack, Fervor Defense, and Health Increase by 1%. So in the end, it, this is actually not a bad, uh, not, not a bad one to upgrade. The problem is you're gonna, have, it's gonna cost you ten thousand just to get one of these, and you have to get all ten to be able to get this up, uh, basically three percent. So I guess if you're, if you're totally maxed out, if you're winning every single match that you have, and you're getting a lot of those valor points, I could see you buying some of these, ch these, uh, these chests in here to get the shards. But in the end, this is probably this one here is definitely, uh, well, not definitely, but probably not the one that you want to go for. There's other value in other, uh, better value in other places like the epic tokens and Simon medals. And in the same light here, the Birth of the Dragons, which is the other chest that was in there, you can get total attack reduction, defense, and health. Another, again, it's just one percent. Even at, you know max level is still one percent, so it's nothing in a, it's nothing too crazy here when you're looking at uh, uh, having that all maxed out. So either one of those, I would say, to, to probably not get because it's just, they're just too expensive, and you can get value in other places. So uh, I hope this gives you an idea, a better idea of what to get in the shop and what not to get in the in the shop there. And uh, next, we're going to go to uh, the KVK shop. 
And here we are in the token shop of the uh, Kingdom versus Kingdom. One thing to, to note for sure is to look down here at the countdown to shop refresh because it's going to refresh after a certain amount of time. And when that happens, you're going to lose all of your, uh, you know, uh, collected battle tokens and bravery tokens that you collect. You can get over here. And to get those tokens, all you have to do is either kill troops um, or, or if you lose troops in battle in Kingdom versus Kingdom. So during obviously the... Um, uh, the, the revival where you don't, can't lose any troops, this, this this won't have any token shop whatsoever because you won't get any tokens. But uh, some things here to consider um, are the honor banners. That's the first one that I, the first thing that I would consider. Um, the next thing to consider are the attack, attack and def defense badges. So you have the infantry ones here, you have the cavalry ones here, and the spearmen here. The other badges, as you can see, and you can see there's um, there's two different. Uh, ways to get them so you have to use 120,000 of the bravery tokens or you have to use 80,000 of the battle tokens so you can get both of them uh, either way the ones you want to avoid are the fortification uh, badges both of these are off are very terrible um, and then down here you can see there's the glorious battle there's a there's a marching speed there is a uh, looks like a resilience and then the other one is a casualty rate so these are for just for glorious battle only and they only last a, a certain amount of time you see here 30 minutes 30 minutes and 30 minutes so you only get 30 minutes for each one of these now what I get those most likely not um, because I the if you're if you're fighting I guess I could see the resilience would be maybe something you'd want to get looking at the the speed the time to get there eh, I can't really say that's that's too great um, if you're if you're the, the leader in fighting I could see you want to get there faster and then you'd be able to you know you're going to be taking on more damage and I don't know if that's the the strategy strategy that you want to do if you're if you're facing a weaker alliance I could see it but you're just going to get there once anyway and probably kill everything so I would recommend staying away from these staying away from the uh, fortification ones this one here is interesting the it's a 40% boost for one hour of total attack so I, I bought a couple or I, you know I bought a couple of these or three of them I have three of them right now you can use them in alliance conquest you could use them during a you know an hour during KVK when you have a, a nice juicy time to uh, to fight um, you could use them during any of the other kind of uh, one hour battles that you you know kind of where, where you uh, can actually use this so um, you know if you're going to use it for say uh, even siege of winterfell you know for something like that for it's a one hour one of one hour events and then over here you see the approaching enemy photo chest so let's go check and see what that is so it's in the second album here the second one is down here at the bottom you can see approaching enemy photo chest and you get an enemy total attack reduction of 1.5 percent plus a single training quantity of 3,000. Now that's not too bad. Um, I had some left over, and I actually bought one of these, so I'm going to try to fill this up because it's a little bit. It's, they're very expensive, as you can see. There were 600,000 uh, to be able to to get these. So, and I just got them because it's what I had left over. Because you can max out. Well, once you max out like uh, certain things in there in the uh, you know the token shop there you only you know you can only get you don't want to get some of the garbage stuff you're never going to use or this I'm going to be able to use it so basically in here what you're going to be using um, you're going to I, I would try to get um, de it actually depends on the badges that you have to tell you the truth so if you have whatever your front line is those are the attack badges you're going to want to get because they have defense here as well so they're going to get they be they would help you uh, twofold so I would look to get these one of these three here and try to increase those badges if you can. Um, now, if you are more of a you know medium to higher spender, I think these badges are kind of worthless because you're going to have uh, if you're running a three troop line, you're going to have your three attack badges and a health badge or maybe a royal badge or something like that in there. Um, now, if you were maybe you maybe you don't get royal badges or you never got royal badges, so um, do you want you know a 25% health badge or do you want one of these, uh, you know, say infantry is your front, and you want these up to 50, I think it's like 15% or something like that, a defense and 15% attack, then I would probably take these. That's the only reason I would be able to get those if I didn't have any royal badges and I needed a little more attack and could sacrifice some health. Yeah, I kind of have to see what your, uh, you know, what your health is, because you're going to need enough health, and if you don't have enough, then that those badges actually will help you. Um, the honor tokens are another one that I've been trying to, you know, trying to use to try to max out my glory level. So that's another one. So I'm going to use these attack badges, the the, the um, honor banners here, and then the, then I'm going to look down here probably at these two and try to get maybe a 40%. And then uh, if I have any left over, the uh, approaching enemy chest. So I hope this, uh, I hope these these uh, different uh, 
uh, Valor Shop and uh, Token Shop help you kind of give you an idea of what you need to get, what you need to avoid, and to try to increase your account just a little bit. But uh, until next time, Mac out.